Yo, yo, what's goody? I am Wavy. Y'all starting to see why people are going to alternative media for their news instead of going to the mainstream? Like, this one is about the bloodbath debacle, so let's get to it. He's talking about a bloodbath for America. It's laid out in the terms of it. And these idiots uh, on Twitter, uh, these idiots uh, on, 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 on cable news, these idiots on Sunday shows, going, well, yeah, well, President, you know, he was talking only about the auto industry, and this is one more. It's just bullshit. Let me say that at 6.15 a.m. It's just bullshit. He knew what he was doing. We're not stupid. Americans aren't stupid. He was talking about a bloodbath. Sometimes a bloodbath means a bloodbath. And when he finishes by saying, and that's just going to be the least of it, seriously, all right, so these are supposed to be college-educated people. They probably have um, master's degrees. I don't know. They probably have uh, various awards and accolades. They're supposed to be a little bit smarter than that. Now, I know that these people, as soon as they hear bloodbath coming from Trump, they're probably thinking something like this. J6 is going to happen again, which is a whole different um, topic that I'm not even going to get into in this video. But this is what they're thinking. All right, in this country, we've forgotten how to even pick up a dictionary. All right, you go over here to Merriam-Webster, bloodbath, okay, bloodbath, okay, a great slaughter. Yes, it can mean that, all right, but does everything have to be literal? I don't know. It can't be figuratively anymore, even though this is the, the uh, we'll get to the correct meaning, but this is the correct meaning, okay? A notable, not this one, a notably fierce, violent, or destructive contest or struggle, Okay, and then down here, a major economic disaster, a market bloodbath. All right, let's put it into context. He was speaking at, um, says there will be a bloodbath uh, if he loses the election. Trump made the comments at a rally in Ohio where he spoke about auto manufacturing. The Biden campaign responded by criticizing the former president president's threat of political violence like i said they're trying to make it and 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 get the narrative going that this is what he was advocating for which uh they tried to do with the whole um remember the 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 there were good people on both sides remember uh that how how that's been broken down assess analyzed debunked so many times of what what he actually meant you know, and this is what they've done again. They've taken a two second snippet and they're trying to uh, form a narrative, trying to say he's calling for violence. He's he's asking for this. No, he was he was at the auto, uh, the, the auto manufacturing talking about that. If the auto uh, sector happens to fail the country, it could mess up the economy. I'm not saying it would crash the economy, but it could mess up the economy. It could throw it off and it could be a major economic disaster. So what's wrong with summing all that up by saying bloodbath? You know, there's there's certain jargons and and and, and mumbo jumbos for, for 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 certain things. So because you don't know what it necessarily means or because you have a perceived thought or because you're trying to film a uh, frame a narrative you get to say, hey, bloodbath is no longer a real word and it means or it no longer has this meaning and it just only means a great slaughter. Come on, man. Keep it real. All right. So Biden's uh, campaign has actually taken snippets of the J6 uh, event and from um, him saying um, for the bloodbath if he's not elected and they're trying and they've already put out uh, videos and um, campaign pieces where they're saying, like, pretty much this is Trump and he just wants violence and this and that. Like, come on, man. Like, 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 this is why mainstream media is failing because y'all just, it's clear to see who y'all support and what narrative y'all push and where, what y'all believe. It's clear. Y'all don't even try to hide it at this point. I don't know. It's either that or y'all want Trump to win. I don't know. Um, so yeah. The comments came at a rally here as Trump discussed the possibility of an increasing trade war with China over auto manufacturing. So if you don't know, China purchased a bunch of land um, is opening up plants in Mexico and they plan to sell the cars to Americans. And he was saying he's going to tax them. And, you know. Because they're not going to hire Americans there. They're probably going to sell the cars cheaper than cars that were made in America because 
if they're gonna if they're gonna open up a whole bunch of them in Mexico, they might be able to you know hire cheaper versus what Americans are are gonna be expecting and stuff like that. So it would drive so American cars won't sell, you know, whereas those ones in Mexico will sell more. But you know, we'll get to that your video. Um, real quick, I just wanted to touch on this. Marcus S S James Singer, not Marcus Singer, <laughs> James Singer, a spokesman for uh, President Joe Biden's campaign, said this. He wants another J6, but the American people are going to give him another electoral defeat this November because they continue to re reject his extremism, his affection for violence and his thirst for revenge. OK, the whole framing of this thing around the bloodbath and all that. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy because. Every time he says something, if he alludes to any type of of of, of violence or anything, they're going to allude to J6. Meanwhile, meanwhile, um, Democrats during the BLM riots and people on the left were calling for violence. We're calling for civil unrest. We're calling for this and that people to be attacked and stuff like that. And it's OK. But when Trump says something that. In the right in in the in the in the in the in everything, what he said wasn't wrong. But let's get to that your video. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years. 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country, think of it, went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us. No, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell them. It's going to be a bloodbath. If the auto industry, if they've already moved to Mexico, and China's now moving some plants to Mexico, and they're selling to America. What do you think is going to happen to the American car plants and the American people that work at those places? They're going to be out of a job because the American cars are going to be selling for probably twice what they can sell for there. And if they're not being taxed to come into the country, that's just my thinking. I'm interested to know what y'all think. And I'm not, you know, the most versed in how all of this works but i'm thinking that's that 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 that's what i'm getting from it you know but if you stuck around this long in the video as always i'd appreciate it if you join the conversation with a comment add a like um hit the subscribe button because the wave just gonna continue getting wavier and yeah it's 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 a problem when trump uses the term bloodbath right these are all uh previous um footage of the word bloodbath being used. Let's check it out. Bath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really and tough. Trump has left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we yeah. can count the bodies as part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist Charles Blow has a new piece for The New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 midterms, you can bet that they 100 percent are fearing a slaughter. In fact, the word bloodbath yeah. and massacre come up frequently. So it's fine when they use it. It's fine when they say a bloodbath, but when Trump uses it, all of a sudden he's trying to incite violence, you know. And meanwhile, when the Democrats incite actual violence, go, say go out and attack people in MAGA hats and attack people and it's fine. But, you know, I, I don't know. To me, I'm just trying to call it down the middle. If you're going to be a, doing journalism and I'm not a journalist major or nothing like that, I'm just a guy that turns on the camera and, talk, and rambles about what I think on YouTube. All right. I don't have any experience like that, but these people have gone to journalism school. They have uh, graduated. I'm sure they've been employed at these um, top companies to, you know, do proper journalism. And this is what they're doing taking it completely out of context it, and it took less than 24 hours for people to be able to um analyze what what really was said and how it was being used but before i end let me get to when they are violent who resists the temptation to run up and wring her neck the biggest terror threat in this country is white men 
most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should. Bring that back real quick, because Don Lemon, I don't understand him real quick. I, and I, he talks about the biggest threat to this country is white men. Meanwhile, he goes home every night to a white man. AOC talks about white supremacy, this and that, and she goes home to a white man. Like, it's like some psyop stuff. It's like they telling us this, that, this, that. Oh, racism, racism, white oppression. Meanwhile, who laying on top of them at night? Pause. And wring her neck. Biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? He said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. I'm just saying. Now we just... When certain people say certain things is fine, when other people say it is it's inciting um, violence and stuff, I don't get it. All right, these are the same people that will get up and say um, MAGA people uh, 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 put a noose around my neck on some juicy small yay shit. You you feel me? You know, but I don't know. They see what's coming. They see what's happening. Um, this whole thing has once again brought more attention to President Trump, more attention to uh, more eyes to him. The guy doesn't even have to run a campaign. I don't even see m many um, Trump commercials. The guy doesn't even have to do anything because they keep on talking about him. They keep on um, spreading misinformation, which makes people want to go do the research because if they can't look to the mainstream media, shout out everybody that does alternative media that's actually putting out good information. You know, but um, if you stuck around this long in the video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, wave, getting wavy. Um, I really don't. Uh, what do you think about it? Do you think that Trump was calling for violence? He wants J6 2.0. He wants uh, if he loses, he wants there to be violence and chaos in the streets. Nothing like what not nothing even compared to 2020. He wants to, you know, monumentalize or, you know. He wants to tower over 2020 with the type of violence that he wants to see in the street, bloodbath. And he wants to scare people that if he's not elected, that they have to be afraid of uh, the white uh, nationalists, the white MAGA supporters, the, even, maybe even the black MAGA supporters. Or do you think once again, mainstream media has failed their audience? They put out this. Luckily, a lot of people were able to go and piece it together and put it into its full context because these people are just willing on top of uh, putting him through all these trials, trying to bankrupt him, keeping him tied up with, um, you know, tying up his businesses and and he can't run his businesses in New York and all that. I think it should bring a lot of eyes to him. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, to me personally, I think it should bring a lot of eyes to what is really going on because we've never seen something like this before. Okay, and I, and I showed you legally what the word bloodbath means. All right, and without that, let me get to my final clip. It says liberals for Trump. I did not support Trump. When he was elected, I was horrified, and I thought that the world would become dangerous and he would run the country into the ground. At what point did you realize after being horrified that this is isn't exactly what they said it was going to be. There was a documentary I saw about the 2016 election and the spying. That dawned on me just as a person who believes in free speech and democracy that outside of politics or partisanship, that is totally unacceptable and undemocratic. And if we're using the excuse of Trump that this behavior is justified, that democracy should be subverted, then there's a huge problem in this country. And to see people who were so emotionally riled by the figure of Trump to the point that they suspended their belief in democracy and a free and open society in order to remove him is so dangerous. It says, yo, if if anything, if this should show you is if they can go after a former president like this, the way that they are, even if there's nothing there and it's all smoke and mirrors, it should make you afraid as a regular person that has no leverage no money, like I'm talking about Trump status of money, no connections like that where the man has been, um, you feel me, on the scene since probably before before he even had sense to know he was on the scene. You feel me? He, 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 he like to have that much experience and stuff and for them to go after you like this. 
I hope it's eye-opening, and that's why you should be against this shit. But y'all be easy and stay wavy.